Hey, what's up, everybody? King JB, the daily rap from the throne. I'm here to give you uh, my thoughts on today's MMA news. Uh, I don't know how this is going to sound. It's my first time using the new headset. Got it for the radio show, so I hope uh, it works out right. First off, I want to give a big shout out to the Legends of Fighting Championship. Of course, Street Dreams Management, Full Guard Fight Gear, and WhatYourFight.com. Appreciate everything that, that y'all do. Definitely uh, appreciate it. Uh, we're going to get into today's news. Locally, we obviously had a situation earlier between myself and uh, some other people that are that are real close to me. For all you little vultures out there that want to jump on that, man, get your game right, man. Get a life, man. Get off my dick. But anyway, let's get to the MMA news, man. Uh, today, obviously Overeem recently, man, has been having a lot of issues uh, with this drug testing thing. He says that they, he thinks they should drug test more. And I find that a little odd and funny because he's fucking huge. He's gained 50 pounds of muscle in the last five years, which is insane. Uh, but I still Overeem is one of my favorite heavyweights. I got him at number two. I think he's going to destroy Brock Lesnar. So hopefully we'll we'll be we'll get good news with that. No problem. Uh, Mark Munoz. He says only one percent of Chael Sonnen in the media is real. I mean, Chael Sonnen's acting all the time. You know, I understand doing what you got to do get ma to make money, to entertain the fans. Every now and then I try to do something odd to, to gain, you know, obviously people wanting to watch my show. You know, every now and then I just do something real weird like, you know what I'm saying? And that shit goes like that. You know what I mean? And people will probably keep going back to that. So I don't blame Chael Sonnen, man. I think Chael Sonnen is one of the best in the business, and I look forward to seeing him and Anderson Silva too. Uh, Randy Couture says that Michael Bisping deserves a title shot. I agree. There's only one person I think that deserves it more, and that's Hector Lombard. Big ups to Hector Lombard and everybody down at AKA Love All Ya, man. Uh, but anyway, keeping it moving, man. Uh, let's see. GSP had a great su success with his surgery. Good to see him back. Uh, definitely. Um, the UFC 142 prelims, they will air on FX. So if you got it, get it, got it, good. Uh, Japanese version of the UFC 144 poster. I don't know if you guys seen it, man, but it looks like some old pride shit. Happy about it. I love it. I can't wait to see that show. <clears throat> Juan uh, Vanderlei, man, he says USA can be ugly. Tough, tough. The Ultimate Fighter Brazil will show respect. I have to agree with him. I think there's a huge difference in American fighters compared to uh, Brazilian fighters. There's a definitely lack of respect uh, that comes from American fighters, period. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Anderson Silva, he's reluctant. He, he, he does not want to put on weight and go up there and fight John Jones. I don't blame him. But I'll tell you what, I do think Anderson Silva would win that fight. I think it would be an amazing fight, the fight of the century, the fight of all time. I would love to see that fight, and I think most of you agree with me. Fabricio Verdum is back, and he's fighting big country, Roy Nelson. Very excited to see that shit. Uh, uh, great jujitsu in this fight. I, don't, I, I, I do got Roy Nelson winning this fight because of his striking. He can... You know, strike with you. Verdum can't. If Verdum go, wants to go to the ground, I think Roy Nelson can go to the ground. Uh, so I got Roy Nelson winning that fight. I don't know what you guys think about it's at UFC 143. Definitely looking forward to it. Uh, that's really basically all. That's all of today's news. Uh, UFC recently 140 was a, a success. I think John Jones put himself at, at easily number three. Uh, on the pound for pound list, good job by him. Uh, a lot of people criticizing him for the Machida thing. When you got somebody in a submission and the ref tells you to let go, you let go. It's not his fault Machida fell. I hate John Jones. Everybody knows that. But I'll uh, give him his props, man. He's one of the best in the vault. He's best in the world, maybe even of all time. He's just great at what he does. But anyway, man, uh, basically I'm going to get up off here. I appreciate all the support. I love all of y'all. The MMA Kingdom is growing every single day. We can we going to be number one within a week, within a year or two. I promise that. Let's keep it growing. Let's keep it moving, man. I uh, can't wait for UFC 141. Brock Lesnar, Alistair Overeem, Overeem by TKO. 
I'm out of here. I'm going to do my strike force review later. I'll holler at y'all. Make sure you go to the MMA Kingdom.com.